Alright guys, how's it going? So I'm going to be up front here. This tutorial, it won't make you a better artist. <laughs> but it will put a smile on your face every time you start up Blender. And obviously I'm talking about a custom splash screen. Now the great thing about this method is, you don't need to do any coding, you don't need to compile a build, it really is creating a folder and dropping a few images in. Now, the best way to achieve this is by using application templates. Now, I've kind of spoken about application templates before. Nobody watched the video, so I'm going to try and make this slightly more entertaining if I can. <laughs> so you can see here when I go to File and I go to New, I have my own setup. So I have my setup in Tutorial. Now, in terms of Tutorial, it's so when I'm making tutorials, it reverts Blender back to default. It uses pretty much the default settings. And it just means I don't need to open a different blender. But it also gives me the option to create my own splash screen. So one piece of advice I'm going to give is check the documents out. Always read the blender docs. They're there for a reason. They're pretty damn good. But you can see here we have splash.png splash underscore 2x. The reason we need two different image sizes is obviously because of monitor scaling. And that's all we really need. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly jump into the blender folder. Now I'm using Blender 2.90, if you're using 2.83, might be some differences, but not too much. So I'm going to jump into 2.90, I'll go into scripts, and you can see here, start up. And you can also see that we have app template system. So if I go in here, you can see I have my two startups, my setup and tutorial. And it's pretty much taking the startup.blend, the user preferences, these two image files, and that's it. So I'm going to quickly set up a new one, so let's right click. Let's set up a new folder and let's call this My Setup 2. Now what I'm going to do here is, I'm actually going to go to the Blender Config folder. Now if you don't know where this is, it's usually located in the app data slash roaming. So for example, mine goes my computer name, app data, roaming, Blender Foundation, Blender. If you go into the Blender folder, you can see all the different versions that you've got installed. So I'm going to select 2.90, I'm going to go to Config, and you can see here, this is my Blender Config folder. And I'm going to copy these folders because this is pretty much my default startup, my user preferences. I'll go back into the startup folder and then Blender install and I'll paste these in. And I'll also grab the two different splash screens. Now like I said, they're obviously different resolutions because your monitor scales up. And I'll paste this in. And that's it, it's pretty much done. Well, sort of. We'll just double check it. So I'll quickly shut down Blender so we can restart it. And I'll restart Blender here. And I'll make sure that the application template's there. So if I go to File, go to New, you should see here, My Setup 2. Now, initially you won't see the startup screen. It might stay on the default. And the reason for this is, you've not told Blender, look, load up a different setup. So if I go to My Setup 2, and then I'll go to the splash screen, it will be there. But what we need to do is create a Blender shortcut. So I just grabbed the 2.9 file, created a shortcut. Let's right click on it and go to properties. So you can see after the blender.exe, I've actually added a quick command line. And that basically says use app template, my setup, and I'm going to change this to a 2. And I'll hit apply. And that means any time that I load the Blender, it will automatically boot into the application template. And this is really powerful. Especially if you have your own setup and you have your own custom configs and uh, you can do a lot with it. But that's how you change the splash screen and it's very easy. And if you check the documents, you can actually do a lot more. And that's pretty much the basics of it. Very simple, very easy to do. And it customises Blender. Now, like I said, it's not going to make you a better artist, but it will put a smile on your face. Do me a favour, guys. Like the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on Twitter. Support me in Gumroad. You know what to do.